Hi, my name is Ron Lehman. I'm from Defoe School in Frederick, Maryland. And today I'm going to show you a technique called Tuscany Gold Age. But before I do, if you go down below and hit that subscribe button, it'll let you know when I have new videos coming out, which come out every week. Sometimes more than one a week. But hit that subscribe button so you know what's coming and when it's coming. But today we're going to show you a finish called Tuscany Gold Age. I think I already said that. But it's a beautiful finish that makes things look like it's from Tuscany. So let's get our tools, let's get our materials, and let's get started. So the first thing I've done to get ready for today's technique is base coat to the surface using Benjamin Moore's Regal Satin Enamel to a color, it's just simply an off-white color. I'll put all the information in the description area below for the tools, the materials, and the colors that I'm using so you can easily purchase what you're looking for and figure out exactly what you're looking for from the comfort of your own home. So again, put the first coat on, rolled it out, and I'm gonna be using a glazing technique. So for that, we're gonna use Modern Masters Tintable Glaze. It's an interior only product. Tints with pigment, never paint. Paint will make it dry too quickly. It'll also dry very opaque and you're not gonna get the depth. So if you try to tint it with some, uh, if you try to change the way I'm showing you this, it's not gonna look the same way at all. Again, soap and water cleanup. Tints with pigment, not paint. Interior only. I've made two colors, a warm brown and a pretty bright yellow and that's gonna be mixed up for what we call the technique called Tuscany Gold Aged. Okay. So we've tinted our glaze. We're gonna need a couple paint brushes to apply it. Purdy Black Nylon Peacock is what I'm gonna use. There'll be a badger brush involved, a spritzer bottle full of water, and good old fashioned 91% rubbing alcohol. All right, now first thing I'm gonna do is, because this wall is dry, big walls, what I'm gonna do is hydrate them, meaning that it's dry, it's hungry, the paint's been on there, even though it's a good high quality paint, as soon as that glaze hits, it's gonna suck it in. So what we do is set this to mist and just give it a fine, fine mist. We don't want any drips. What that's gonna do is hydrate the surface, give us a slip coat. So now the glaze is gonna slip and slide all across it, giving us more time to do what we wanna do. Let's take our yellow first. It's pretty bright, I know. Whoa, what do you think? It's very bright, huh? If I do a big wall, I'd be using six inch rollers. And if it's a really big wall, like some of the casinos I do, I'll be spraying it. Yes, I can spray my glazes. That's color one, let's take the color two. You gotta be very careful, this is a dark, dark color. This is our brown. It's like a... Okay. See how dark that is and strong? That can overpower. That's why I put the yellow on first to control it, because if I put the brown on first, I might be tempted to go real heavy handed and have a big mess on my hands. So yellow in some areas, brown in some areas are not overlapping yet, but now I'm gonna take a piece of plastic bag. These are cheap trash can liners, very thin if you can't get these. It's the thinnest you can get, would be 0.7 millimeter thick plastic to get those drop claws at the home improvement store, paint store, hardware store. Open it up, crunch it up, open it up. What this does, crunch it up again. Get you any folds or creases from the, uh, what it was set, packaged to us. That's how it comes, we want it like this. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, not just tap it, but I'm gonna tap it like a push pounce. Slightly blending these colors together, see that? What I'm trying not to do is get uh, we don't want spotting, we don't want it to look all blotchy, meaning I don't want to see pockets of the brown, pockets of the yellow, but I don't want to overblend it either to the point where um, I have just one color, that I've, a new color that we've created by just mixing it all together on the surface. Okay, that's finished. That's the blending process. We're gonna take a rag, fold it up, flat side to the rag, and get in here and just tap it out. Pretty simple. This I am just tapping because I'm just trying to soften up what I did. All right. Move the rag around a little bit. And you'll notice as I do it, see my hand moving back and forth. It's highly exaggerated. But you don't want to just keep tap, tap, tap. You want to kind of break it up and be very repetitive. Or, I'm sorry, don't be repetitive. Very Try to move around so you don't create a distinct pattern. 
Now, this could totally be finished at this point. You could say, I'm happy with this for that nice old Tuscan wall. Boom, that could be finished, let me show you. All right, look at that. Okay, see that? I know somebody's gonna go, oh, he's got pockets of brown on the edges. That's where the tape is. When I pull the tape, you won't see it. But see that? Look how pretty that finish is. Beautiful soft patina. You could totally leave it there. Or grab some alcohol, 91%. The higher the alcohol content, it evaporates away. And what that means is it doesn't drip, it doesn't drop on the wall, uh, creating globbed or drip look. We don't want that. What's going to happen is it just hits that surface, all right, off with the excess and into the surface with it, sissing it. If I'm doing it right, it'll blow, what it is is it will blow up in the glaze, meaning the alcohol does not like the latex and the latex doesn't like the alcohol. So it's opening it up, creating these little holes, these pockets of color. And then you come back with your badger brush and we pull it top to bottom. It's going to be hard to see at a distance. I'll get it close for you, don't worry. What I do is the glaze, so when that alcohol hit the surface, it exposed, it pushed the glaze away, exposing the base color. Now, the glaze doesn't want to stick there because it's got that little layer of alcohol. So when I go top, pull it across, and I only go two ways. I don't want to go back and forth. If you go back and forth, you're just going to make a mess. So when I pull it this way, the glaze hits that spot, rolls over top, and continues on because it doesn't want to stick there. And then when I go this way, it just kind of adds to it. So it gives me that three-dimensional effect. Very textured look. I'm almost done. That's it. I'll show you. Hold on. Ah, the tape's on a fight me on this one. We must have prepped this board the other week. It's been setting for a bit. Daggone it. There's worse problems to have, right? Now, you can do this any color combination you can think of. I like this one. gives it that added old, old look. Now a lot of times I won't do this to the whole wall. I'll do it to the lower third of the wall to create the illusion that, you know, it's breaking up. Meaning as it gets closer to the ground, more things get stuck in the, against the wall causing the surface to break down, looking older. See how fast that finish went? That's it, we're done. All right, there we go, check it out. Coming in, can you see all that texture? Look at that. See all that interest down there, isn't that great? But look, there's nothing here on the surface. I mean, I know there's nothing here, but look. See that? There's no texture on this board at all, but it has that look has all the illusion of texture. That cool? I love this finish. There you have it. Get close up there. Oh, there it is, perfect. Nice, huh? All right, that's it. Tuscany Gold Age. I did that all in one stop, one step. Water, glaze, blend, soften, alcohol, smooth it out. Done. Now, if you really want to, you can put a coat of uh, polyurethane over top of it to protect it, and uh, it'll protect it. But there you have it. All right. Before I go, if you do me a favor, go down below, hit that subscribe button. That way, you get alerted when I make new videos. Every week, they come at you, and uh, by hitting that subscribe button, you'll know when it happens. Um, but that's it. Tuscany Gold aged. All right. 
My name is Ron Lehman. I'm from the Faux School in Frederick, Maryland, where I teach decorative painting workshops and complete commission projects for clients all around the world. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.